Did you know you can get banned from COD Mobile, even if you think it's okay? I'll give you tips on how to avoid this or adjust your plans to stay safe with the latest COD Mobile update. Join me in this video to stay informed. Here's a question for you. Have you ever tried to get a refund for COD points in COD Mobile? When you request a refund, CODM will return the money you spent. However, remember to return the COD points you received originally. This ensures fairness for both parties, especially if you used Google Play for the transaction. Beforehand, you'll receive a notification to return the refunded COD points with a specified deadline. Failure to comply may result in a ban or loss of access to your account. With the new update, you'll receive a notification in your inbox regarding this. Here's how it works. When you request and receive a refund, you must return the CP. This may result in a negative COD points balance. For example, if you need to return 2000 COD points that you've already used, you'll need to repay them. However, if you have 2000 CP, they'll deduct them automatically, preventing a negative balance. You can still top up your CP. They'll deduct the exact amount you owe. Do you see what I mean? It's okay to request a refund as long as you return the COD points or avoid requesting refunds altogether. You can't trick COD Mobile with this. Remember, avoid buying from resellers, even if they offer cheaper prices. They can make your account risky by requesting refunds. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.